So one thing I'm trying to do every morning is to go on a five to 10 minute walk. I did some research and sleep is a lot more important than we think. And there are a lot of factors that contribute to it. One of, if not the most important factor is to get direct sunlight every morning for at least five minutes. This one habit will completely change your energy levels throughout the day. Ever since I started implementing it, I've just felt better about my day. I feel more energized in the morning and that energy carries on longer throughout the day. And if you're having trouble sleeping, even if you're not having trouble sleeping, you should definitely implement these into your schedule. So it is 8.30 and class starts at nine, which means I have just enough time to make breakfast and head out. I will start my morning with just a bowl of oatmeal because if I don't eat breakfast, I get too hungry and anything heavier than oatmeal just it's just too much for breakfast. So a bowl of oatmeal with a couple of fruits always does the trick. And then we head over to class. How do you explain the infinite to the finite being? Mm. If all of the trees, I mean, every tree is made into a pen, and every ocean into ink, and then every ocean given seven more oceans, right? Uh, not to mention we discovered there's seven oceans, right? But whatever, right? If we do that classification. But anyways, uh, those weird scientific, like Quranic things, right? Yeah. <laughs> we booked the ticket, we forgot to rest. Oh, it's your finish. Is that how you do it? Why is that? Why is that? He's bored. I didn't even know. <laughs> yourself to those who are patient and they call upon the law in the day and in the night right yeah, yeah so they might be here Wait, on that bull. Okay. bro please don't put me on your youtube <laughs> they say ibn hisham says that the prophet sallam, he would wake up in the morning and it would look as if his hair was still well kept and kahila as if he still had sermon in his eyes right? he grabs his boy what is tell me how you sleep how do you walk <laughs> His child, I swear, is the master of the universe. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> Y'all manage this stuff. It does not concern me. Thaniyam, al-af'alu ladhi thabata kawnuha min khasa'is in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Maybe on Friday. Not us, not me, but they the brothers. The brothers. Just wait for someone to come in the class. The class starts. Uru'yatu al-ma'i idha qadara ala isti'amalihi. And in addition to all the things that break what else is there? Seeing water. Seeing water. Thank you. I wasn't looking. We were in the meeting. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's not. Is it bad? If you know, if you know. Okay, what do we get for this last part? Yeah, he presents some more answers, but there's really no need to mention them because this is enough. Basically, he's saying these are the main lessons you take from it, but we don't get caught up in the details because they're ambiguous for a divine reason. Okay. So we just finished classes for the day, alhamdulillah. About to go to the gym. 
hit some chest and bicep. Got your nade with me. Big boy! <laughs> You can strip everything away from us, but the one thing that you cannot take away from us, which is the most honored and valuable possession that we have as Muslims, is my deen, is my Islam, and it's here in my heart. So do as you like, I will do as I like, because you can laugh today, you can mock today, you can make fun of me today, but let me tell you something, after the day of judgment, the only laughter that will ever be heard again for the rest of eternity are the people of paradise, and the people of paradise are the Muslims. So laugh now all you want, because I will get the last laugh. Look at him go, can't stop him. Oh yeah. All right, we had just finished at the gym. From the Oops. How do I do this? We just finished at the gym. Chest and biceps. Um, we still got two hours until Sheikh Mikael's halaqa. So we're going to go home. I'm probably just going to make food. Maybe get some homework done. Why are you interrupting me when I'm... Yeah, anyway, so we're going to go home, probably eat, do some homework, maybe take a nap. I don't know what happens. We're going to see. Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Uh, Moaz usually doesn't go to the Halkas. <laughs> That's not true. But this is like, a, this is like, a, like, I guess a day in the life. You're lying. A day in the ideal life. Um, no, this is a day in the life. This is exactly what I try to do every day. Mo Moaz more days than not. like, doesn't go to class, but then after class, he just sleeps. And then place the I don't have any protein powder either, Omer. Holy crap, y'all finished this one too? God damn. The one thing Shaytan wants us to do is feel like that we're a lost cause. What Allah wants us to believe is that, you know the hadith, y'all. Can I end with this? In a sound hadith, Bukhari and Muslim, that Allah is so happy when you make toba, and then He made an analogy: a person who was in the desert had all of their stuff in their car on their camel, and the, they went, they laid down, and they woke up, and the camel was gone. Your car was stolen. It was jacked. It was gone. Everything gone. You in the middle of nowhere. And this person realizes I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm done. I am, I'm finished. So this person lays under the tree and says, I'm just going to lay here until I die. They fall asleep. They wake up. They see that camel right there. And this person jumps up with joy. At that moment, the Prophet said, Allah is more happy with your returning to him than this person is when their camel returns to them. So do tawbah. This is, it's not inevitable. A lot of us are like, yo, Sheikh, I'm a big sinner. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Look at this funny video. Look at this funny boy. Look at him. 
Alhamdulillah, bro. Alhamdulillah. That was amazing. I love the Wednesday night halaqas. Everyone's at Majid is absolutely packed. You get to see everyone. Sheikh Mikhail talked about the day of judgment, specifically crossing the Sarat, and it just it hits every time, subhanAllah. It makes you just really realize how insignificant this dunya is and how important every single moment is in your life. Like every moment right now is going to have an impact on how your day of judgment pans out. Anyways, if I get into this, I'm not gonna stop, so I'm gonna cut myself short. I still need to get home and do a bit of homework. So that's what we're gonna do. It's been a busy, busy day, but that's how we like it over here. I just finished studying uh, for a bit. I didn't get too much done, but um, a little bit's better than nothing. And it's getting pretty late, and I want to go to sleep. Before I go to sleep, I always try to read a couple pages of Quran as much as I can kind of get. But even if it's just half a page, I have to read something every night. And that's definitely a habit that everyone should have. And then if I'm up for it, I'll also kind of journal just how I felt throughout the day. It's a way for me to just kind of get all the garbage out of my head so I can sleep peacefully. And it's really cool to look back on the thoughts and experiences that you had uh, in the past when you're reading your journal entries, you know, months in the future. And that's pretty much it. That is a pretty accurate day in the life. Before we end this, I do want to say that take these things with a grain of salt, right? Not just my videos, but all these day in the life videos. Our lives aren't as amazing as we might portray them to be. But at the same time, I can't just film hours of content of me just doing nothing. Like that's not entertaining. But in reality, most of our days is just mundane, boring work. So keep that in mind before you kind of assume that I or anyone else have this perfect, amazing life. Everyone has things going on that they don't share publicly. Just keep me in your dua, keep grinding at whatever you're doing and make, oh wait, hold on, hold on, don't move. You already know what was coming. Make sure to drink your OJ. Next week's video is a banger Q&A with Yusuf. Truth, you don't want to miss this video. I don't think I've had that much fun recording a video before. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss this video. All right, I'm gonna read my Quran and we're gonna call it a day. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.